just want to stop and tell you, you need to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But today I'm going to be doing this like maroony red eyeliner look. And yeah, this is how it looks. Um, keep watching if you want to see more. Alrighty guys, so I would like to please ask you to ignore this um, very obvious mark on my face. I don't know where it's from. It just happened last night and I probably shouldn't be wearing makeup. But you know, I got somewhere to go. So, I'm going to first start off with the Laneige. Laneige? Laneige? Lane. Lane. I'm not sure how to say this, but it is a lip sleeping mask. I've been using a lot of lip sleeping masks because my lips peel a whole bunch and I've been trying to find something that actually works. So I ordered this off of Sephora during the VIB you know, Beauty Insider sale and I got the one that smells like candy. I think it's so cute. It comes with this cute little applicator. So I'm just going to grab some it on my lips mmm kind of tastes good too I know I'm not supposed to eat this but I'm gonna do what I want so <laughs> um, it feels really good on the lips so that's a good sign now I'm going to put on some sunscreen because my it is 80 degrees today for the first time in a very long time in Ohio so I want to protect my skin and especially you know make sure none of this gets worse and this is the Kula refreshing water mist sunscreen full, full spectrum 360 I got it in a influencer box and it was literally so amazing so it smells really good and I actually like this retails for $36, I think. It is farm to face, plant protection, um, anti antioxidant enriched, uh, real friendly? I don't know what that means. Uh, cruelty free and vegan. So honestly, it's really good moisturizer. The, the bot, not moisturizer, sunscreen. The bottle is very sturdy. I'm pretty sure it's made of glass. And honestly, I really like it. And I'm probably going to purchase it again to be my, you know, all of summer sunscreen. And it's supposed to protect you against UA, UVA, UVB, IR, and HEV, which some of these lights are ones that will come from your smartphone or um, different light sources can emit certain rays and they can penetrate deeper into your skin, which can cause a lot of issues. So I think it's nice that they are trying to target their products toward doing more than just UAV or UAV. Um, next up, I'm gonna prime my face. And I'm gonna use Fenty Foundation today, so I'm gonna use the Fenty um, Pro Filter True Matte Primer. And it's gonna be a sunny day, so I wanna make sure that I do stay matte. So I've got two pumps on the back of my hand, and I'm going to that true hmm. I usually don't like wear I don't, I don't know why but I just don't be wearing this primer and it's so crazy because I I love Fenty so obviously I want to be wearing like as much of their products as possible at one time but I think the foundation, the highlighters are definitely my favorite out of all of the lines, you know. I just don't think I found a primer that really speaks to me. Next, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. Clearly, I'm going in going for a very high-end look today. Usually, I would use Nika K um, Pomade, and I think the shade is True Brown, but I'll fact check that. It's just one of those days where I want to look, you know, look and feel a specific, a very specific. <laughs> so. mm. 
Next up, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Concealer. Um, really like it, love the shade. It is very good on my skin, and it's a great highlight shade for me. It is the shade 440. And I would love to point out that I tried to, you know, I tried to get the one that goes with my shade, which probably would have been great to cover up all of this craziness that's going on my face. But I, when I use concealer, I usually just use it to highlight, so I don't really like to, you know, buy my shade. Because usually I'm using a full coverage foundation, and I really don't, you know, need to have a shade for my skin tone because I'll be covered already. But I will say one of the things about this um, concealer is that it dries down very quickly. So you you gonna have to you know make sure you blend her out. And I'm getting close to the end of this bottle, which is why I keep dipping so much. Normally I would be fine with just you know a couple of dips, but I have a backup, so it's okay. Um, I'm just gonna take this brush from Shop Missy. It's one of my favorite places to buy brushes or beauty blenders, anything, like whatever you need. It's all the dollar, so it's like my favorite thing. And then I'm gonna use this bottle that actually has Mario um, lavender spray in it. This is just easier to travel with, so I transferred the bottles. And I'm just gonna blend out this concealer because I am an eyes first gal, you know. Some people don't do their eyes first, which I'm not saying that there's a right or wrong way to do makeup because it's an art, it's an art form. So like everyone's gonna do it differently and they're gonna do what works for them. But like I find I've done both ways and sometimes I'll, you know, be in a rush. So I'll do my face first and then my eyes because I can usually, you know, rush all of the face stuff which doesn't really make sense because I could just rush at the end but it, I don't really like to rush at the end of my makeup I'd rather rush in the beginning and then you know have a lot of time at the end for things and I do this so it's just not that harsh of a line and when I put on foundation it'll blend right into it but I'll still have that nice like highlighted upper brow area that will make my brows you know really poke out and I think I took away a part of my brows, so I'm going to put that back in. Bricks of mistakes I made, which we all make mistakes, so it's not, you know, it's nothing crazy. Um, next up, I'm going to be using the Patricia Bright X Makeup, Revolu X Makeup Revolution Palette. For my eyes and I'm going to be using these brown tones in here because I want to go for a look that is more um, neutral because I want to do some red eyeliner on this look today maybe even some yellow you know go primary colors on them uh, so I'm going to take this brush that I randomly got off of um, AliExpress and I'm going to go into Allspice which was the warmy brown one here I'm just gonna put that color in my crease. I love a good, you know, warm brown because my undertones are warm and I feel like sometimes they just don't be making stuff for the brown girls, you know, the warm brown people. We just, we warm and we brown out here, okay? Makeup Revolution shadows that have a lot of their other palettes and the thing about it is that sometimes it's almost kind of hit or miss with the shade whether there'll be enough pigment I mean you see me dipping in a couple of times just to get the shade to you know adhere to and show up on my eyes but in no way like I know that I'm dipping a lot but I still feel like the you know color comes out pretty, pretty 
pretty well. And I like it a lot. So I'm done doing crease things. And now I'm going to take my NYX primer and I'm gonna put that on my lid because as you can see, I have hooded eyelids. So I need something that's gonna that's gonna hold on to my um, eyeshadow very nicely, you know. I don't know why every time you put makeup on your eye, you gotta open your mouth all weird. I always look in the mirror and I see myself doing that, and I'm just like, why are you doing that, sis? There's no reason that you need to open your mouth while you're putting on something on your eye. Like, why are you like this? <laughs> But it is something that everyone does, so I'm not I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. You know, I'm gonna keep doing it. So next I'm gonna take another AO Studio brush. It is a flat tip brush. I find it it is the best to apply any type of eyeshadow that you're trying. Take this angled brush from AOI Studio. It is a E116. And then I'm gonna take this um, AOA buttercream gel liner and shadow. Uh, honestly, I was pleasantly surprised by these. Again, they're like a dollar. So you don't really, like, I don't know, you just don't know what to expect when you're getting something that is that inexpensive. Like, how can you get quality with it? But I'm using the red shade. I'm not sure what the shade is. I tore off the back of it for some reason. But I'm going to use the red shade. And just to give you like a test in it to the actual quality of these, even if you if you don't believe, like if you believe I'm using something different on my eyes right now. Um, but I have a Kat Von D. Like her brow product, you know. Her brow liner, brow slash gel liners, okay. I have one. In a red shade okay and it one does not show up in one swipe two is not as red as it claims to be and three it it's just n not good and I just don't I just don't understand how I can get this one dollar product that's you know bringing it home for the girls but I get this product that's probably retailed at about $18. I'll fact check that. Um, and it just ain't even showing up for the for the party, you know? Now I am going to do this liner a little bit thicker than I normally would because I think I want to put on a lash. There we go, a nice thick red liner. And I'd also like to point out this brush is um, had a little bit of my gel, my brow gel on it, so it's going a little bit darker than it normally would. But did it's a okay? Actually used it in a look, in a glossy look where I just did like a plain bare eye all one color and then I used this liner and then some gloss over this liner and it just really popped and I really wish that I didn't want to wear a lash today because sis it will be poor that that um lip gloss combo with this liner was just out of this world. Sorry, I might go out of frame for a second. I'm just going to look in the mirror. Alright. There is the eye. And now I am going to do the rest of my face, I believe. Because I usually do lashes kind of last and I also like to spray my face after 
So this is the Fenty Beauty Foundation and I am shade 460. Um, I was actually matched to 470, I believe, when I did the like color IQ thing at Sephora. But we all know how reliable you know that be. So I had a wonderful black woman at the JCPenney near my home. And she was like, yeah, it's telling you this, but if I was you, I would go the shade below because the shade that I got matched to, it just was, it was kind of too dark, which is fine, which is, you know, understandable because, ooh, why did I do that? Because, uh, black girls, like our skin, our skin tones just don't be one color. And it's like, sometimes you just gotta choose which color you want it to be that day. Um, sometimes I go a little bit more red. Sometimes I go a little bit more of my under eye shade, which is kind of yellowy, golden orange. But you know, this is my business. Um, you focus on yours, baby. Now, I'm gonna blend this out. And I just recall that I forgot to squeeze out the excess of water in this blender. I'm going to wait to hit that little spot that I talked about earlier or last just in case there's any bacteria on it and then I'm going to wash this blender when I wash the rest of my sponges and disinfect and all that good stuff. And then that one for the most part Fenty is very full coverage buildable I think it might be marketed as a medium buildable to full but usually when my skin is not you know freaking out I only use about you know like one layer across my face but that is how we are looking at the present excuse me while I dig in my nails very rudely um next up is concealer which i'm going to go back with my fenty concealer and just go under the eyes now if i wasn't at the end of this bottle i would be adding a bunch more because i find being that this product dries so quickly it's better for you to apply a bunch at the beginning and then blend it out. And I also like to do the size of my nose just to give me that, you know, extra slim, extra I highlight my nose very heavily. One of my boyfriend's favorite parts of my makeup is that little nose dot I do with my liquid or cream or powder highlighter. And I love this applicator because it's very good for the bridge of your nose. It's like the perfect amount of size for my nose to get that like snatch look, you know? And I'm just kind of spreading out this concealer a little bit again because it does dry so quickly and it's gonna mostly dry in that spot and that's where the most pigment is going to be and I want to make sure that you know and this sponge is from a shop missy by the way retails for a dollar best beauty blender dupe like I've never bought a blend beauty blender and I probably never will because these are available and they're good you know I've tried some very I've tried some you know dollar and expensive sponges and they have like always been super hard no matter how much I wet them um no matter like what I do they're just too hard and they hurt my face So, I just be having to, um, I was just looking for a sponge, like that whole time I was really just using brushes because I was like, 
what am I supposed to do if I can't, you know, get a sponge that's actually going to work for me? And I was fine with being a brush girl. You know, it was nothing to me. Alright. I think my concealer is pretty as blended as it's going to get. I don't like the way it's looking right there on my nose, but looks fine everywhere else. Now I'm going to go with my powders, which this is the Black Opal Finishing Powder in uh, Medium that I am almost out of. Hopefully I have a backup. <laughs> but um, I either dip directly into the great things or I'll dip into the lid. Um, I don't really bake my eyes. I'd kind of just apply a bunch of powder though. Valid. It is the Juvia's Place Blush Volume 1. I'm going to use Abby and Neo to contour my face. I just kind of apply it, you know, everywhere that I didn't put my natural face shade. And I like these because they also have a good amount of red in them, so they're just really warm warm me up. I know a lot of black girls and brown girls are very scared of products with red in them because they just be sometimes they be too red. So that is a very valid concern and I have had situations where I've been entirely too red but for this one it's really good. Now I'm going to take this um, Shop Missé brush I'm just going to sweep over everywhere that I applied my highlight powder just in case. I just like to, you know, rub it in a little bit. Make sure it's um, extra incorporated into my skin. And then kind of set over my eyebrow area because I don't really set that very much. And blend out any cre creases I have. You can tell I've been smiling too much because I'm getting smile lines with a good foundation with a good primer like ooh what um, now we're getting to the finish line I'm gonna go with my Amuse stick highlighter that I got from Shop Miss A as well and I'm going to just put it on my cheekbones like so like so hashtag top of the brow and then I'm gonna put it on my cupid's bow and also down the bridge of my nose. Now with this, I, with my nose highlight, I like to um, blend it out with my finger just because I don't have a brush like that's skinny enough to get in between this area. And I kind of, I want to keep most of the pigment there because it just, it really gives you a nice boo booyah, you know, nice booyah. And now I'm going to blendy, blendy, blend on my cheeky, cheeky cheeks. In kind of circular motions, but also like wisping back and forth. Sometimes I just want to diffuse it, you know? But also like keep it in the same spot so I have a good amount of glow. And there's how that looks on its own. And now I'm gonna go into another Fenty product, the Fenty Highlighter. I should have used the Fenty eyeshadow palette for this. That would have been a good idea. I'm gonna use this gold shade. I always use it, but I'm gonna use it and mix it with this more maroony shade. And then I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. Kind of gives it like um, it's like a pinky, rosy kind of glow, which I really like. And I'm also going to put a tiny bit on my nose. I don't know why I closed it, as if I don't have enough highlight there. Okay. Now that we are done with this, I'm going to spray my entire face down before I do mascara.
didn't mean to hit myself. Okay. Spraying just really helps my makeup kind of settle into my skin. Make everything all gluey and nice. Now I'm going to use the Fenty Mascara. Which I would like to say that I don't know. I'm not sure if this is my favorite product. Um, I love the idea and I love everything about it. I love the innovation because like how do you make a ow mascara more innovative? Who knows? Rihanna knew. Um, but I think there is like a real learning curve to it. And I'm not sure that I've learned yet. But it does give me good, good, good lashes. And I don't even know if I want to use um, lashes now. Ooh, honey. Honey. Um, but I'm also going to use the Fenty, um, Beauty, I'm not sure what this liner is called. It's the long, it's the fly pencil. It's just a black eyeliner pencil. And I'm going to use it to go under my eyes. What? This pencil actually is not bad. I like it a lot for, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. Like, how could I not like it if it doesn't do what it's supposed to do? Um, but, not but, um, geez, um, my strategic communication teacher would kill me. Uh, but, I like it. My mom bought it for me, and even though I don't really use, the only black light liners I really use are kind of like, um, liquid. So I don't really use a bunch of regular pencil liners. Yeah, this mascara is performing a lot better than I remember it. So maybe I am just using it correctly for the first time. And maybe there's more product on the brush this time. And I also like to go over my lashes. I can't remember who I learned that from, but I learned it to my YouTube. It just kind of completely coats the lashes and really makes sure that you're Grabbing and elongating. Yes, I'm really liking it. That's crazy. Maybe in a lash day. And now I'm just gonna try and sweep away these pieces of mascara. Uh, I inevitably, inevitably spilled under my eyes. I'm gonna go in with this AOA liquid lipstick to line the outer portions of my lips. Alright, got lips on. And now I'm going to use another Nika K product. <laughs> it's a British accent, wow. Well. Um, it is her, I'm not sure what the line is. I think they're just matte nude lipsticks, but it is in the shade Coconut. I feel like this is gonna be the shape, same shape as my lips. So hold on, let me. JK. I was trying to find a shade that was like more nudie because I don't really wear nudes so it was very hard to find but I'm gonna take this um, 
LA Girl Matte Liquid Lip in Snuggle. And I'm gonna put that on the inside. And my lips and kind of blend it out. And then, because we're a fancy fan, we ordered this package and the Sephora VIB haul. And I'm going to figure out how to open this, but the packaging is like really cute. Like, it's a lip duo, it was $19, I think. And there's tape on it for sure. So we're going to try and get rid of that tape first. And then... We're gonna see. There was this little insert in there. That's how they weren't coming out. So I have two shades here. It is Sweet Mouth and Fenty Glow. This is the final product, guys. Just wanna get in a little bit closer, show you how everything's looking. Highlight. We we're looking good came out really nice Fenty gloss on the lips Fenty foundation Fenty concealer it's a Fenty party thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time